This time the tipping point is personal. I'm not referring here to self-reinforcing feedback loops, which I've discussed many times. I publish those on my blog, guymcpherson.com, and also in peer-reviewed papers recently, within the last couple of years. The tipping point this time is personal. It has nothing to do with science. It has to do with me and my ability to promulgate science. I return again to a quote from John Kenneth Galbraith, specific for, specifically from Chapter 1, page 22 of his 1977 book, The Age of Uncertainty. John Kenneth Galbraith wrote in that book, People of privilege will always risk their complete destruction rather than surrender any material part of their advantage. So far, I've said that part many times in this space. Galbraith goes on, Intellectual myopia, often called stupidity, is no doubt a reason. But the privileged also feel that their privileges, however egregious they may seem to others, are a solemn, basic, God-given right. The sensitivity of the poor to injustice is a trivial thing compared with that of the rich. And that's important to understand. People of privilege are not interested in giving up any material part of their advantage, even if it means their complete destruction. This applies to people in governments. It also applies to the wealthy. Given that those people, the ones who are really in control of the situation, most situations at the societal level, given that they're not interested in anything except maintaining their privilege, how do we act and what kind of implications are there for us? Well, here's an example. More than a decade ago, I concluded that Earth had passed the point of abrupt irreversible climate change. Shortly thereafter, a coordinated defamation campaign began that removed me from public service. And the defamation campaign continues. I'm no longer allowed by society to go on speaking tours at my own expense or to submit to interviews with corporate media because the defamation campaign continues with people writing messages to anybody who asks me to go on tour or to give an interview. In light of that information, and also in light of the fact that we have even the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change admitting that we have passed abrupt irreversible climate change, how do we act? What is our own personal tipping point? And as an example, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, concluded climate change is abrupt in its October 8, 2018 report, Global Warming of 1.5 Degrees. Specifically, quote, these global level rates of human-driven change far exceed the rates of change driven by geophysical or biosphere forces that have altered the Earth system trajectory in the past. Even abrupt geophysical events do not approach current rates of human-driven change. End quote. This is the most abrupt event with respect to planetary warming in planetary history, as nearly as the IPCC can determine. And probably that's right. So things are, are happening very quickly with respect to changes in the environment, far too quickly for mammals and vertebrates, including human animals, to keep up. In the IPCC's September 24, 2019, IPCC Special Report on the Ocean and Cryosphere in a Changing Climate, the IPCC concluded that we are in the midst of irreversible climate change. So this report came out less than a year after the previous report admitting that we were in the midst of abrupt climate change. And here's the relevant quote indicating that we are in the midst of irreversible climate change. Quote, ocean acidification and deoxygenation, ice sheet and glacier mass loss, and permafrost degradation are expected to be irreversible on timescales relevant to human societies and ecosystems. So, we're in the midst of abrupt, irreversible climate change, but apparently we're not allowed to talk about it. The corporate media never bring up the fact that we're in the midst of abrupt, irreversible climate change. The corporate media never bring up the fact that we are losing habitat for millions of organisms around the planet on a regular basis. The corporate media never mention that we humans as vertebrate mammals 
are at risk of extinction in the very near term. That just never comes up. And apparently it's not going to work for me to try to present that information either. The bottom line is that people will behave better if they know what's coming and then it comes than if it's a complete surprise. And I suspect for most of the 8 billion people on the planet, abrupt irreversible climate change leading to loss of habitat for humans will be a complete surprise. And so people are not going to behave themselves when that happens to them. When they do find out as a result of direct contact with the idea of loss of habitat, people are going to probably go a little nuts. I don't think that's a good idea to have people going even a little nuts, much less where I think we're headed. So I, would, I will continue to get this message out to the best of my ability, recognizing that I've been hamstrung by recent events. As the ancient Greeks used to say, amor fati, love my fate, even, even though sometimes that's a little easier than others. So here we are in the midst of abrupt irreversible climate change with very little the plebes, the plebes like you and me very little we can do about it. All we can do is live our lives, try to convey important information to people to the extent that it might matter to them. However, it appears my attempts to rely upon free legal advice have gone by the wayside. First, the renowned attorney Francis Gerald Maples, who became my friend, died on December 4th, 2020, while providing pro bono assistance for me. And more recently, a, a renowned legal team was attempting to work on my behalf when they received messages indicating that that would be a bad idea for them. Blood-soaked messages, in fact, uh, terrifying, suggesting that they should just go away and that I should just go away. So after a few messages back and forth with this legal team, it's become apparent that they are not a, in a position to provide me any assistance, pro bono or otherwise, and I understand that. And so what that means is I will continue to attempt to get my message out in any way that I can. I would appreciate your help in doing so. Thank you for paying attention to this message. I greatly appreciate it.